All right, good morning, guys. Something that I've been wanting to talk about for a little bit of time is hydration. So if you're similar to me, I have very high caffeine consumption during the day, that's just me. I like to function at a very high level and I like to drink coffee. If you have quite a bit of caffeine consumption in your day or you just have a hard time getting enough water in, this is gonna be for you. Um, so the start off here is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get two one and a half liter bottles. So this is the system that I've come up with. We have our one bottle, which is gonna be our brine bottle, and our bottle number two, which is gonna be our straight water. So straight water one, not so important right now, but this one that we're gonna be making into our brine bottle is a little bit more important. So if you have a hard time getting a lot of your water in during the day, I always start my day with a brine bottle to start. So it's one and a half liters of water. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this is gonna accumulate out to about like, maybe like half a teaspoon of our Himalayan pink salt right here. So I'm gonna make a nice little funnel here. That's gonna go right in the bottle. And for taste purposes, as well as kind of like detox purposes, you can add um, raw lemon juice to this as well, which is also gonna actually help detox your, detox your insides as you drink through your bottle. Um, so between the Himalayan pink salt, which you can see you can get a nice big thing right here, Himalayan pink salt, uh, you can actually add those two in there and you'll have one, a really good hydration complex, two, as well as a good internal detox. Um, now there's a couple things, one, there's a primary reason why I'm using Himalayan pink salt instead of your standardized iodized salt or even your white sea salt. Um, but you can actually see here, primarily, it is Himalayan, it's pink for a very specific reason. Its color comes primarily from um, potassium, magnesium, lots of different minerals that are found naturally in the earth. So this is actually a better quality salt, and I actually think it has a lot better flavor when you season your foods with it as well. Um, if you look at your standardized iodized salt and even a lot of your sea salt, it's plain white or it's pretty clear. Um, that reasoning because it is just pure salt, most of the extra nutrients have actually been taken out of it solely for that purpose. Um, so I would actually say your iodized salt and your standard sea salts are actually a little more going to be, they're not going to be as healthy for you as your Himalayan salt. Um, this has always been the standard that I've gone with here. So what I'll normally do is I have my two bottles. I make my brine bottle number one. Start working through this first thing in the morning when you're drinking your coffee, you're taking your pre-workout. And then once that's done, we move into our fresh water, three liters through the day total. Normally I will have a third bottle of the day, which will either be a repeat of the brine bottle, depending on what my caffeine consumption's been or what my exercise workout's been, or if I'm just a little behind on water. If I'm doing okay, I'll most likely just refill the second one here. Now, I also take magnesium potassium astrocate, which you're gonna see we got right here. This is a very, very simple supplement that you can actually use throughout your day. Um, the big thing with this one is very simple. This one's magnesium potassium with taurine, primarily for heart health, because if you actually look at the big function, our heart is a muscle. Now, if you're dehydrated, guess what muscle is also not gonna work well? You've got muscle cramps and muscle twitches and different things like that. Well, guess what? The same exact things can happen to your cardiovascular structure right here, the big old ticker in the middle. So most people who may have even types of like arrhythmias or any type of heart dysfunctions that might fall under this, your hydration status becomes even more important, especially if you're a caffeine drinker. If you're a big coffee drinker, guess what? This is gonna be something you definitely wanna do because in the beginning, especially if you're primarily amount of your coffee in the beginning of the day, this is gonna be very important because this is gonna help you combat that dehydration of your caffeine a little bit faster. Now, people are always scared of adding too much salt in their diet and everything like that. And I truly believe that's the difference between Himalayan pink salt and your iodized and your sea salts. Your iodized and your sea salts and your processed salts are going to be a little bit more aggressive on your blood pressure, on your heart, on things like that. Um, they think this is one of the things that a lot of people misconstrue with uh, sodium. Um, it's also the fact that a lot of our body functions primarily on electrolyte imbalances. 
and the fact that they're in balance. So by doing your brine bottle here, you're not just getting sodium, you're getting your magnesium potassium. This is an electrolyte solution, which is made to hydrate you a little bit faster. Think of this almost a little bit like your Pedialyte minus all the sugar. Um, that's optimally what our Gatorade is as well. It's our electrolyte solution, but there's a lot of excess processed sugars in it, where if you're not actively exercising, Gatorade and Powerade and even these low carb sugar, low sugar drinks can actually be really disbeneficial for your body composition. So this has been a big change that I made. I used to drink multiple Gatorades a day and I was holding a serious extra amount of body fat and I truly believe that was the primary reason. Um, you don't need to be drinking Gatorade right before you go to bed. You don't need to be drinking it first thing in the morning. If you're exercising, that's probably when you need it or if you're about to go into a workout, you might be able to do it. But honestly, I think there are a lot better sources of our carbohydrates than Gatorade or Powerade or even any sports drink, to be honest. I would rather do this and have a solid carbohydrate source. Um, but that's been just a little bit on water intake, electrolyte imbalance, and some of the things that you might wanna try adding in to combat your debt. So if you felt kind of weighted down lately and you always struggled with hydration, this is gonna be something you definitely wanna give a shot. Um, if anyone has any feedback, give a shoot back. I'm always up for new options. Have a great day, guys. Drink your water.